Hey guys, how's it going? So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be performing the shooting demonstration of the Snow Wolf Barrett. Again, my name is Max and welcome to my Airsoft channel and let's get into this. And then uh, just a quick little like blurb before I get into this. As you guys can tell, there is no bipod. Uh, I'm trying to express my feelings as professionally as possible, but I'm for lack of a better word, pissed about this hunk of junk that I bought. So I'm gonna do the shooting demo still um, without the crap bipod that broke on me and I've tried every bit of way it's of fixing it to support the weight of the gun and it's just no luck. So you're gonna see me just mainly holding this thing, um, not so much prone, I, I apologize, I'm just kinda giving up with this thing. Um, so. I'm gonna go ahead and just get into just doing a few angles for you guys for a shooting demo and then pretty much we'll go from there. So let's get into it. Okay, the cool thing with the uh, Barrett that does have some form of a redemption over the crap bipod that they have on this thing, um, the fire selector does come in two different fire modes, which is gonna be uh, semi and full auto, if you can believe that. For a Barrett, I know, it's insane. Um, and then of course, third option, safety, if you want to count that, but firing options, again, it's just two. So I will um, do a little bit of both in the video. So right now I have it on semi. Um, I kind of have, I actually had to get into my basement because this thing is just too big to really um, fire in my little airsoft office upstairs. So um, I have a few targets kind of downrange behind the camera just to kind of you know, pretty much plink at. So I'm um, just, again, starting with some basic angles. Again, no bipod, I'm gonna be freehanding this thing. So it's definitely heavy, so please bear with me. So it's got a pretty solid motor in there, you know, it's, the FPS behind this thing is pretty aggressive. Again, we're talking about 430 FPS with .2 BBs, um, so it's definitely, definitely pretty strong, uh, pretty strong airsoft rifle. So I'll do a quick little blurb of full auto as well, so you kind of get the idea of the rate of fire on the stock gearbox. I'm hoping I can get all of these kind of in one area so they don't go everywhere. It's just insane. You hear that and you don't expect a Barrett to be shooting that fast for a sniper. But that's the Barrett for you for the uh, Snow Wolf. So I'll go ahead and do another angle for you guys. That's definitely an arm workout without the, uh, the bipod. So right now I'm kind of in like a, like a crouched position. So I laid more targets out this way. I got a pretty large basement. So it actually ideally works for me with this uh, big Birth of a gun. As you can see, I'm just trying my best to really fit this into the, uh, the frame of the camera. So um, right now I have it on semi, so we'll do semi a little bit and then we'll do some full auto. I'm not gonna lie, my arms are getting a little tired. Okay, now I've, uh, I've went ahead and switched it to full auto, so the selector switch is gonna be on this side. So, let's do it. All right, I just wanna make sure that you guys can see this. <laughs> oh, it's, it's insane. It does make up for the crappy bipod, but it's still unfortunate that I couldn't use it today, but I mean, the, uh, the, the satisfaction of having a full auto Barrett, I mean, it's unique, which I do like about it, um, but, you know, it's definitely really cool that you have two, two options. I mean, with a magazine of this size, you know, with what Evike um, has it listed as, uh, about 500 BBs that the uh, capacity of this thing has, so I mean, it's got a pretty good amount, so. Alrighty, we'll get into another angle here. Alrighty, so I'll showcase this angle a little bit with the uh, mock charging handle. I mean, as you can kind of see, just to kind of give you a preference to my body, um, 
typically standing I'm six foot one. This thing right now, I'm, I'm on my uh, on my knees right now just to kind of uh, do like a crouching position. So this is already over my head basically. Um, and I mean, you can just tell this from my hand, the magazine's huge, the stock is massive. The scope itself, I mean, humongous, it's crazy. Just the overall length of the gun is just ridiculous. It's, it's definitely a monster. Um, the bipod legs would have been up to about here. Um, I'll show you the damage on that bipod. You see that? That's what I was dealing with, and it just pretty much goes like whoop, whenever I try to place it. Um, I've done a lot of things, but the problem with this gun is it's very heavy. So the bipod legs don't like to support that weight, or the broken one doesn't, I should say, but that's kind of my issue. But anyway, we'll do a, you know, you gotta do that once for this thing. Um, and then we got some more targets kind of moved around a little bit. Now we'll do, we'll do uh, semi. Now we'll switch that to full, do a little blurb of that. Oh, I put it on safety, that's my bad. Not bad, definitely impressive. Um, the thing too with the scope, I've noticed it's extremely accurate. I haven't really had to uh, do any adjustments. It's basically good to go right out of the box. So. Um, you can fine tune this if you need to. It really depends on how you're trying to really use this thing. If it's always like long, long distances or short distances, you can you know adjust it to your whatever your comfort level is. So that's definitely a plus for this thing. Um, but for the most part, it has a very good FPS, a very excellent rate of fire um, for the full auto at least. The semi. Just the semi-auto too. It's ha it has like a very crisp trigger pull. Um, it's definitely solid on that end. I just can't really say so much for the body, of, for the cosmetics of the actual rifle, but for the gearbox, it sounds very, very strong, very solid, very, um, very reliable. I mean, with these kind of guns, with Snow Wolf, it's be it's my first Snow Wolf uh, rifle that I've ever bought, and so. You know, it definitely compares to a lot of the uh, higher up brands, I would say, in terms of the gearbox. The gearbox externals, not so much, but um, I'll kind of show you as well how to um, connect the battery, disconnect the battery as well. So, as you guys would imagine, being the length of this, um, this stock here, and you'll see it in my review video as well, which I will have in the uh, video's description, um, the verbal review of this gun. So to pull the battery in and out, what you will need to do is, again, this bipod would have been extremely helpful if I had it actually working. There's a one pin on this side here, the top one, that you need to pull out. Um, actually, before you pull that pin, hold the top of the gun as, just as firmly as you can because it tends to slide forward and then you'll have a hard time getting that pin out. So, um, in and out actually. So we'll pull it out, put it to the side, firmly, I have SpongeBob reference, firmly grasp it, and then remove this, uh, this uh, buttstock here. It's gonna kind of swivel a little bit. So right now I have um, some nunchuck batteries in here. I think they're 9.6, yeah. So 9.6 volt right here. This is currently what I have in there. Uh, it works just fine with a block battery, no problem. But anyway, the plug right here, you'll, you'll see the wiring is definitely protected very well. That's um, one good thing I've noticed with this as well. And then it's just very battery friendly. It can really house a lot of different batteries inside. Um, and then, you know, once you put it in or take it out, the battery, just go ahead and, again, make sure you're still holding this because if you let it go, it's going to slide forward. And then you kind of have to, like, pick up the top portion of the gun just a little bit and slide it back. Um, again, it's because these holes are not going to align with this portion of the, the rifle and that pin is just not going to want to go in. So, and I think that's exactly what happened here. But I got it, so once you're good to go, everything should kind of sit flush at the top, at the top so you shouldn't see any um, large gaps or anything like that. But once you do that, 
you're pretty much back to your regular Barrett with a battery in or a battery out. Alrighty, so concluding this shooting demonstration, um, again, I definitely had to deal with a lot of inconveniences with this rifle with attempting to do the shooting uh, demonstration, but even in general too with me just using the uh, rifle the last week, I've had many problems. Not so much with the, the you know, the firing abilities, um, again, it's more so the, uh, the bipod and it's just, uh, you know, I'm not too happy with the construction of this for, you know, the amount of money you pay for it. It's definitely, I, I, I'm being personal with this. I, I love the gun. You know, I'm definitely going to still keep it because it's something I've always wanted. But I wouldn't really recommend this one to, to really spend, you know, about $400 on it. I definitely advise on getting, like, I, it was between either this or the SCAR that I was looking at. I should have got the SCAR. Um, I'm kind of a little disappointed, but it's okay. You know, it's... Uh, you, you kind of have uh, one of those lemon guns sometimes. I mean, luckily I can I can fix this over time. I'm just you know trying to in preparation of this video, trying to get some shooting demonstrations out. So that's been kind of um, one thing I haven't had a chance to do. But anyway, um, again, cosmetics. It's a fail for me. I don't I don't like the construction of this gun. It's, they really cheaped out on the metal. Um, so that's just a, that's a no for me. Um, the power amazing the fps is awesome the fact that you can customize the gearbox and shoot and have it shoot faster and stronger a huge plus for a lot of airsofters that kind of like to dive into customizing the gun um, the battery space is amazing you can fit any type of battery both nunchuck or block so definitely really cool um, the scope is incredible again out of the box no need to fine tune nothing good to go really good you know a lot of players prefer that I prefer that you know less fiddling the better you know everybody wants to just get in there and shoot it um, weight wise is awesome it's realistic um, it's not a true one-to-one -one from what I hear but I mean it's as close as you can get with a Barrett without buying the uh, $2,000 SOCOM gear Barrett that's like CO2 which I probably should have invested in that instead of this but um, that's just that's just my thoughts on that but Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I apologize if there was any type of just, you know, negativeness or any type of, you know, upset look on my face. It was kind of disappointing with this, you know, part of the gun breaking. I feel like it's a very vital part in a sniper rifle and the fact that it just ended up going bad the first day I got it, it's just, it's unfortunate. But, you know, overall, I'm not gonna put this gun down with you know a lot of negative things there is a lot of positive things they do overcome the negative things of this gun you know I'm sure a lot of you that have had this gun or played around with it you know if it had a good experience but anyway if you guys did enjoy this video definitely leave a like share the video and then if you are new and you're interested in my airsofting channel you like what you saw today definitely check me out and subscribe I have a lot of airsoft content um, pretty much anything ranging from unboxings to full-on reviews about anything airsoft related. So again, I thank you guys for watching and you have a good day.